Yes. Uh, Sherry Bowler, right behind you. I represent uh, New York's 23rd District, and I'm a senior member of the Science Committee. One of the great difficulties we have in Congress, being generalist, is trying to prioritize our scientific expenditures. Three years ago, the Industrial Research Institute was asked of its members in the private sector to prioritize five big science megabuck projects. And they came out with the following rankings. Human genome was one. National Aerospace was two. Space Station was three. SDI was four. And the Superconducting Super Collider was dead last five. If you were asked to prioritize those five big science megabuck projects, how would you prioritize them? Well, first thing I would say is that three of them aren't science at all. They use science, but they're not about science. Strategic Defense Initiative, which is just now uh, collapsed, it's not doesn't exist anymore, right? It's now the Ballistic Missile Defense Initiative, and it doesn't even report directly to the Secretary of Defense. Um, it's come down in the world. That's not science. That is the application of science, that is technology, to defense purposes. To uh, lump that uh, in the same ballpark as the Human Genome Project, uh, I, I simply don't don't understand uh, at all. Human Genome Project and the Superconducting Super Collider are the only two uh, scientific items on on that list. Um, by the way, hi Sherry, uh, good to see you. Uh, we're we're neighbors. Um, if if I wanted to get uh, prioritized, I'd put a lot of other things on that list. Uh, I'd put the B2 on that list. Uh, I'd put uh, the uh, Seawolf attack submarine that the Department of Defense says it doesn't need, but uh, Congress insists that it does need for reasons of, uh, of jobs on that list. I would put a large number of weapon systems, some of which are uh, have uh, problems about whether they are being produced according to specifications or on time or on budget, and some of which are simply un unnecessary. The B-2, whatever its, uh, its alleged function in uh, nuclear war, that is to uh, the, the authoritative justification of the B-2 uh, by the Air Force Chief of Staff a few years ago, was that its function was to destroy the Soviet mobile ballistic missiles that had not already been destroyed by uh, sea-launched and uh, ballistic missiles and ICBMs. That's a completely different world. We don't live in that world anymore. And, uh, and it has no function. And uh, yes, it's uh, spiffy to have a subsonic bomber that is more difficult to see on radar, but uh, considering the cost, whatever it is, uh, tens to hundreds of billions of dollars, uh, let's strike that. And likewise, there are a large number of other items on the Department of Defense wish list that uh, are not needed after the collapse of, of Russia, that are a drain in a nation that has an extremely long list of urgent needs. I mean, I'm thinking of, uh, of collapsing infrastructure, highways, bridges, uh, sewers, aqueducts. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, the fact that the United States is 23rd in the world in infant mortality among the industrialized nations. There are 22 other nations that save the lives of their babies better than we do. I'm thinking about uh, local and global environmental issues. I'm thinking about what our rotten education in science and lots of other things so many American children uh, get. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, homelessness and uh, AIDS and a list as long as my arm. They all take money to solve. They are essential for national security. Why national security should be considered poured into the tiny and parochial vessel of weaponry when so much else is, should be included, I can't understand. If we persist in this direction, there won't be very much left to defend. So uh, uh, I think it is perfectly legitimate to require of any scientist or of NASA or anybody else to justify in terms of national needs uh, their requests for uh, funding, especially in, in the multi-billion dollar range. But that precise exercise ought to be required of those who, uh, 
who are requesting that amount of money or more for weapon systems. And uh, the argument that, uh, that uh, General Dynamics electric boat company workers will be laid off in Connecticut and therefore we have to build things we don't need is not a good argument. Let's spend some of the money saved on job retraining and, and um, if collapsing infrastructure is a problem, let's put those workers, let's put the workers in uh, the weapons laboratories, national weapons laboratories, to work on uh, solving these kinds of problems. So a lot of techno technological problems which need to be solved uh, that are essential for the uh, civilian economy. So I, I know this is a much broader answer than the, than the question asked for, but uh, I, I guess I discover I had it on my chest. I, I, I hope in the course of it I actually did address the question you, you asked, Jerry. Thanks so much.